This is Women Rise to Lead, Episode 1, Lead with Your Strengths. Are you seeking inspiration, insightful tips, and weekly steps to be in action? Welcome to your podcast, Women Rise to Lead. I am your host, Patricia Lagopadis. Even though I was an extremely shy girl, I became an entrepreneur, advisor, and public speaker. I never thought I could have the confidence and courage to show up, speak up, and build a business living my aspired lifestyle. After many attempts and lessons learned, I'm the entrepreneur and leader I always dreamed of becoming. This weekly podcast will empower and encourage ambitious and aspiring women in business to move forward and achieve a new level of leadership, a level that honors who you are. I love to uplift women so they can own their worth and be the entrepreneur leader they were born to be. Because we, as women, can inspire the female leaders of tomorrow by showing up as our amazing selves. So, let's keep shining. Welcome to my first ever podcast episode, Women Rise to Lead, and thank you all for listening. I'm so excited to share inspiration, insightful tips, as well as my experience in business and leadership. Every week on this podcast, I shall have a theme, and based on the theme of the week, I will invite you to apply an actionable step in your life. I'm starting today's episode with a quote that touches one of my favorite subjects, and that is strengths. Today's inspiration comes from the famous John Peter Zenger, born in 1697 until 1746. He was a German printer and journalist in New York City that published the New York Weekly Journal. He quotes, Great leaders are not defined by the absence of weakness, but rather by the presence of clear strengths. And so I ask you, beautiful and amazing women in business, do you know what your strengths are? They are part of your wonderful qualities. Of course, this is quite a big subject. There are personal strengths, and then there are business strengths, those of a company, a brand, product line, professional practice, and they can even be extended to strengths of a country. How we leverage and express our strengths makes a difference in who we are, both personally and as a business. Included are also the skills in which we excel. So, like I said, there are many levels that we can expand on this subject. However, for today, I would like to focus on a general aspect of strengths. Knowing what your strengths are is part of a discovery journey of oneself. They allow us to unveil our sweet spot as entrepreneurs and leaders. Imagine a team, a group, all applying their strengths. What an impact that would have in the company and in the world. For one, in my opinion, competition would be replaced with admiration. Did you know that during difficulty, your strengths can support you to rise above situations and help you flourish? They are part of your magic combination. Great leaders, as suggested in today's quote, are defined by their clear strengths. Every great leader projects something unique belonging to their style. Whether that's how they speak or write, their energy level, their vision, the way they operate on a daily basis, how they interact with others, even how they dress, etc., is all part of their overall image and brand. Great leaders usually know their weaknesses and their strengths and focus on their strengths while surrounding themselves with people that complement them. So, speaking about strengths, what is something that you do effortlessly? Are you at ease with writing? Do you love to plan projects? Are you a great organizer? Do you easily connect with people? Well, you get the idea. For myself, one of my biggest strengths is identifying the strengths of people and businesses. It helps me uplift them and guide them in a focused manner how to align their marketing and business efforts so that their energy is put in the best place, serving them and their clients. Working with your strengths at any age is energizing and uplifting. As a woman in business, it's empowering for us to lead with our strengths. 
Our theme today is strengths. I invite you to pinpoint one of your strengths, and yes, you may have many, but just pick one, and focus on it, applying it throughout your day and week, and see what happens. I would love to hear from you, so feel at ease to connect with me. You can join me on my professional Facebook page, Patricia Lagopadis, Entrepreneur, Advisor, and Speaker, where I would love to hear about your progress. Above all, love who you are. There is no duplicate of your amazing self. Until next week, lead with one strength and feel your energy shift. Have a great week being the amazing woman that you are. Thank you for joining me in today's episode of Women Rise to Lead. If you enjoyed it and found it valuable, please share it with others and subscribe to the podcast or for my weekly newsletter found on my website, patricialegopatis.com, so you can automatically get my new weekly podcast episodes. I'd love to hear from you personally, and I'd be grateful if you can leave me a review. You're welcome to share your progress or comments by joining the conversations on my social platforms of Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Women Rise to Lead podcast honors who you are as women entrepreneurs and leaders and is filled with inspiration, insightful tips, and actionable steps to keep you moving forward. And remember, every action you take will bring you one step closer to your dreams.